We've got our Sears house, that white house, catalog house it is. Across the street from that, well, that is the Good Luck Tungsten Mine. Now, the best part is going to come in just a minute here as we prepare to signal for this crossing. Remember that too long, one short, one long? This meadow does an amazing thing with that whistle, and I think it's one of the most beautiful echoes I've ever heard. So listen for it and see if you agree with me.
and enjoy the music of the rain as well as some tin little hill. Everybody. Just got back from a train ride from Keystone to Hill City. It's a lot of fun. Now just cooking up a quick dinner. We're gonna uh, try to get the drone up in the air out in the woods somewhere. Get a sunset shot and then go see uh, Mount Rushmore. The They light, light up the President's about 9.30 tonight so it'll be fun to catch that. So, let's go check it out. Peace out. Pretty nice. Got it at a knife shop in Keystone.
folks. Excellent. They define us, they inspire us, they guide us to be the people that we are. A passion is an emotion that is a strong liking or desire for or devotion to some activity, object, or concept. What is your passion? Does it define you? Does it inspire you? Does it guide you to be the person that you are? Or are you still discovering your passions in life yet? As you sit and reflect upon the men on the mountain, I'm going to talk about two of those individuals and how their passions help to define, inspire, and guide them to be the great leaders that they were. George Washington is carved on the mountain because he represents the birth of the nation. We know him from his time in the Revolutionary War, during the Constitutional Convention, and as our nation's first president. But what were some of Washington's passions? Washington was passionate about land. At an early age, he was a surveyor, and he wanted to start to acquire land throughout his life. That passion grew so much that he acquired so much land that it was equal to approximately the size of the state of Massachusetts. On that land, he was passionate about how he took care of it. He would read manuals to understand new and different kinds of techniques for growing his crops. He would practice proper crop rotation, so that way nutrients would not be taken out of the soil. He would experiment with different kinds of fertilizers, and he would go to help develop a plow that would drop seeds into the furrows as those seeds were being planted. Found your passions yet? Open up your hearts, open up your minds, souls, and let those passions into your life. For when we unlock those, for when we discover those passions, we can unlock the potential that we did not know that we had. A potential of the ideas of the men on the mountain, and a potential of what this world and what this country can truly be. The United States of America. It's hard to imagine, but not long ago, this great land of ours was pure who lived on the land, revered it as sacred ground. Yet this country would face a dramatic change, quickly becoming the most advanced nation in the world, in technology, in peace, and in power. From its inception, the United States has shaped itself under the guidance of strong leaders. Leaders who have taken over half a million Union and Confederate soldiers lost their lives in the Civil War. But during his famous Gettysburg Address, Lincoln reminded the American people what this war was really all about. That we here highly resolve that these dead should not have died in vain, that this nation under God shall have a new birth of freedom, and that this government of the people, by the people, for the people, shall not perish from the earth. Abraham Lincoln, 1863.
Good morning, everybody. <clears throat> well, it's time to pack up and leave beautiful uh, Mount Rushmore and the Black Hills of South Dakota. Uh, not real sure where we're going to be staying next few nights. We have no reservations. We've got to make it all the way back to Boise somehow, some way. Um, I think we're going to go up to Rapid City, Sturgis, check out Sturgis, just because we're over here. Maybe go to the Motorcycle Museum. Then make our way back through Wyoming. Might stay in, we might stay in Buffalo. Uh, we'll just see how far we can go and look for a place to spend the night and we got to be back at work Monday morning, Saturday morning now. So just play it by ear. That's why we call it the Adventures at Burndex 4. We never know. So we're going to pack up the motorcycle. Pack up the trailer, clean things up a little bit, and get on the road. Uh, I think we have to be out of here by 11. And it's close to 8 o'clock in the morning, so we have a couple hours. So, let's pack her up. Alright, so we are here right now at KOA. I think what we're going to do is come back to Keystone here and then take this highway up to Rapid City and then on up here to Sturgis. Might come over and see this historic town of Deadwood. And then uh, head west to Idaho, Wyoming. I got a new friend. Met him in Keystone, South Dakota. His name's Wally. Would you like to meet Wally? All right. Here's Wally. Would you like to say hi to the folks, Wally? Hey folks, my name's Wally. 
I'm going to travel with Marty in Burn Decks 4. It will be fun, I think. What did you find, Wally? I found a pine cone. Isn't that cool? Yeah, that's pretty cool, Wally. That's pretty cool. Good job. You ready to go? Yeah, let's get on the road. Okay, let's go. Alright, got things buttoned down and cleaned up pretty good here in the trailer. Floor needs vacuum still, but that can wait. Everything's strapped down pretty good. Need to power off this fan. Make sure the hood is closed for travel. Let's turn that off. Uh, computer and chairs all tied down. Put in these little hooks there little eye eyelet thing to hook the straps on works pretty good and I just tie the the desk and the chair together so so they don't move around the table seems to ride pretty good on the cushions there and back here we got a computer screen that we kind of weight down so it doesn't jump around. And uh, we got the fan over here under the blanket. But uh, everything seems buttoned down. Let's power off the lights and uh, get on the road. Alright, do one last safety check before we pull out of here. Make sure everything's strapped down good. Here, looks good. Make sure all the connections look good here. Put the, this tie here just so I had this fall on the ground and drag and had to replace that one time. So that just, in case this falls out, catches it. it. Looks good. I want to turn the gas off while we travel. Turn that off. This one should be off. Yeah. Make this strap down tight. This is not really on good, but it should ride. Looks good. Nice little RV park here. KOA, Mount Rushmore. One thing I did forget is I wanna put a little fresh water in the tank in case we have to boondock tonight or the next night. So we wanna fill up about 50%, the tank 50% of water. We don't want it too heavy, but Get some water in the tank, fresh water, just in case uh, we don't have hookups. So let's uh, get the hose back out and 
fill up some water in her tank. We want to let that get up to about 50% on the fresh water. See where we are on the black water. Whoa! Right up there. So we got here Sunday and leaving Saturday morning. Did pretty good. One thing they had showers, we utilized their showers here, so that saved on black water failed to it's about 10 to 11 15 to 11 so we're getting out of here just in time kind of took our time this morning all right I think we can go shut her down time we get out there it'll be 50%. Ten fifty-one. Nine minutes to spare before kick out time. Let's see if we can get around this car here. Should be able to do it. Now comes the dirty work, should be okay.